a general resemblance to the Umayyad mosque in Damascus is not surprising. This too was founded by the Umayyad ten years later in 715. Also similarly, it was built in the courtyard of a Byzantine church, which in turn was built on the site of a Roman temple. The mosque has been destroyed so many times, including by the Mongols during their invasion of 1260, that little of the original remains. It is likely that this minaret is the only thing which survives from that original building. Most of the existing fabric was built under the Mamluks, though following its earlier style. Yes, I think we should go inside now. I was especially interested to hear that a shrine here contains the head of Zakaria, the father of John the Baptist, because last year I visited the church of Zakaria in Venice, where they had, they told me, Zakaria's body. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think that this may be the shrine that I just mentioned. I'm just now passing through, I think, what looks to me like a caravanserai on my way to the citadel. The citadel was repaired by Calawan in around 1292. Now, if you think that the title Her Majesty T.G. Fid Def is a lot, then whilst we do a full circuit round the outside of the citadel which is currently being developed you should read the job title of this Calawan which is inscribed above the doorway Lord the greatest ruler the most noble king the learned the just the victorious the warrior the guardian of the frontiers, the helper, the triumphant, the victorious, the probity of the world and religion, the foremost of kings, helper of Islam and the Muslims, pillar of the state, supporter of the faith, protector of the people, aid of the caliphate, ally of the imamate, lord of kings and rulers, Ruler of the armies of those who proclaim the oneness of God. Protector of the right by proofs. Giver of life to justice in all the worlds. Destroyer of apostates. Suppressor of rebels. Killer of infidels and heretics. Vanquisher of oppressors and renegades. Suppressor of worshippers of the cross. The Alexander of his time conqueror of capitals, conqueror of the armies of the Franks and the Armenians and the Tatars, destroyer of Acre and the countries of the coast, giver of life to the illustrious Abbasid state, protector of the Mohammedan community. And this is the handicraft market. Now I think this must have been a caravan to the Aleppo is on what was probably the major caravan route from the east towards the Mediterranean coast. Aleppo grew rich. 
it survived several periods of decline over the centuries, but trade recovered with the arrival of European merchants, Venice being the major one and first to open a consulate in 1548. And obviously this is uh, another mosque that we're looking at now. And 50 yards away we've got this one. With another one just to our left. So we're at the southern end now of the old uh, city and we've come up onto a short section of the old city wall. Plenty of taxis and stuff down there. But just over the road here is uh, one of those microbus stations. So Aleppo is as well served as everywhere else for microbuses. Also up here a very small mosque as opposed to the bigger ones we've been seeing. And what I've done now is sort of completed a, a big circle and worked my way back round to the mosque, the Umayyad mosque. I've come up onto the second story of a building just opposite, which is a cafe. I've now finished my tea and I'm stood outside the entrance to the mosque courtyard just watching what happens in ordinary life. Then I decided I'm a bit tired, it's getting late, and I do what so many other people are doing here, I picked a taxi. I then drove back to the hotel in the front seat of that car, and unfortunately I didn't let go of the handrail to get my camera out. So there's no film of the most exciting thing I've done for years.